Hey there guys. I had a good question from one of the viewers on the YouTube channel who is asking how do you remove white from a background? In other words, how do you make the design transparent? So I'm going to show you three ways that we can do that and I'm using Photoshop here. So pretty easy to start off. I'm just going to create a new template here. This is my Redbubble template. So my width is 6480, my height is 7632 and my resolution is 300. That just opens up a nice template. Now I've got a transparent background by default on here, but this is kind of hard to look at. So what I'm going to do is just fill in the first layer with black and just so it highlights the difference between white and black. Now I'm going to use my design for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to use the US flag here because that's a pretty easy to understand uh, common you know, picture and it's got white in here. So we're going to try to remove the white from this design and I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. The first one's pretty straightforward. In your toolbar there's an eraser tool okay now the eraser tool I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna ask me to rasterize this layer which is fine the eraser tool is typically used when you would like to you know add in like a, like a, if you want to like do that you know do these like it's like an eraser right but you can also erase entire chunks of something using the magic eraser and that's a little bit different so I'm just gonna step backwards here get it back to normal and I'm, instead of the eraser tool underneath it I'm going to look at the magic eraser tool so that's the third one in here on this Photoshop and you might have it located slightly different depending on the version that you're using now here I've got this eraser tool and when I click in here it's going to remove either the white or the red but it's going to remove whatever color I'm clicking on in on that layer so you want to make sure you're on the right layer first of all because if you're on the first layer you're just going to remove the black which we don't want to do so I'm going to click on the white but I'm also going to click on the caps locks key and the caps locks key makes it turns it into crosshairs so see I've got those little crosshairs running around now I'm just going to click on the white so now all the whites instantly gone now I need to click on all of these stars so an easy way to do that would be to do actual actual pixels and then you can go in and you can do that as well so that way you've now got a whole bunch of stars. Now I do want to point out it all depends on the quality of the underlying image that you've got. If you're using this for a t-shirt, you notice when I zoom out you don't really notice any white, but when you zoom in there's a couple pieces of white underneath the, the stars. So you may want to get as high quality uh, a vector as possible. This is a pretty high-end PNG, but even you can see there's still some white around the outer rim on it. Now the reason I like removing the white is because if you're gonna make some sort of artistic design not having the white really gives you some options to make the design really stand out regardless of you know like like for example this could be a different t-shirt color so hot pink could be a t-shirt color and then somebody else goes no I really like a black t-shirt color and that would look make you make the design look different so there's a couple different options there so that's the easiest one is just to go in with the eraser tool and just literally pick everything that's white and go you know click 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 and just delete it all so I'm gonna remove my flag layer and I'm just gonna put it back to normal here so I'm gonna go to file place and put my flag back on the second one I'm actually gonna use a background to show you a neat effect you can use so I've got this ocean background I'm gonna remove the black layer so this would be an ocean like underneath the sea sort of you know high definition picture which I really like and with the flag sitting over top of it I can go up into this bar up at the top and I can click on different options and what it'll do is merge the flag design into the HD ocean picture so for example I could use multiply and that would make the flag in like move inside of this you can see how the red picks up some of it it's pretty dark mind you but it does work you can also do I'm just gonna run through them here so there's dissolve it doesn't do a whole lot there's darken multiply color burn which is a little bit more punchy linear burn there's lighten which is kinda nice it makes it kinda look see-through screen color dodge overlay 
So that's the one that I, was pro I would probably use. So it's removed the white and it's replaced it with whatever's in there. So there's normal, but I like overlay. I also like multiply. That's a common one that I use it quite a bit as well. So again, if you do multiply, it makes the uh, makes the the yeah, overlying uh, design pretty pretty um, you know art artsy fartsy, right? Like if you're looking at a different design here, you can really play around with it. So that's another way to remove the white. You see now the white is completely gone. All I need to do now is click on normal and it comes right back. So I would really recommend like playing around with these because you're not destroying anything by doing it. You can just move it back to normal and it's pretty pretty easy. Okay, so that's the second one. The third one that I want to point out, I'm just going to put that layer back where it's the black layer. Okay, so the third one that I want to point out is the flag layer. I'm going to click on the actual flag layer. Now, if I click on flag of the United States, the name, it will open up the name and allow me to rename it. I don't want to do that. I want to click on next to the layer, and it opens up all of these different options. I can do strokes and pattern overlays and that sort of thing. What I want to do is this thing here at the bottom where it says blend if gray, this layer, and then 0, 255. There's a little black looks like a little home run base, a little baseball base, and then there's a little white one over here too. I'm just going to move the white one from 255 to 254. And we can see it just instantly removes almost all the white. Now as I scroll along, we can see the white now not only gets removed, but everything gets removed. So I would find some sort of balance on this one. So if you've got a really complicated design, maybe it's like a really complicated picture, you can use this to easily remove the white as well. I'm going to show you the same trick, but I'm going to show it with uh, with the um, fire. So this is the fire design. I'll just remove the flag. And what I'll do here is I'll click on the fire and I'll do the exact same thing. I'll pull off the white. You can see the white starts sort of easing away. And if I do the black one, the black starts eating away. So this is a really neat one because if you don't really want to have the fire to be as detailed, just remove a little bit of the black and now you've got yourself a nice simpler looking fire that you can then use. So you could have that as your design if you want to have a name in there, or, you know, some sort of, you know, design. So I hope that helps. That's three ways you can remove white from a design. And then just remember when you're saving the design. So here I've got, you know, the, the template set up. You want to go up to file and you want to click on save as and then you want to click on save as PNG file so PNG file saves it with a transparent background and then you can put that on a t-shirt you can then set the tra the background color in Redbubble or T public as you see fit so I hope that helps if you like what you saw today as always please do uh, hit that like button hit the subscribe button I really appreciate your comments your questions and thank you for your support I hope you guys found this helpful